Hello and welcome back to another video. So I'm going to be sharing you this custom jelly bean ROM on my Galaxy S3. First off, I just want to thank Sam J Pullen for actually helping me do this. This is the very first time I've done it and he actually helped me out loads over Skype. So I just want to thank him. He's also got a great YouTube channel. Go check him out. There'll be a link in the description below. So one of the things I really do like about this ROM is when you lock the device, you get this nice animation. I used to have this on the iPhone. It's just nice to have it back on this. As you can see as well, this is the lock screen screen and we can just choose which ones we want from here so all I'm gonna do is just unlock it and then what I'm gonna do now is actually power the device off because when the phone starts up you get this really cool animation so as I said this is resurrection remix and it's sort of their logo branding at the very start which does look very cool so I'm just holding my finger down on the power button it is now come back on you can see the Samsung Galaxy S3 and in a second we will see the new animation and there it goes so to me that looks pretty sweet, I do really do like it. Obviously you don't see it very often, you only see it when you turn your phone off, but it is a nice addition to the ROM. And here we are back at the lock screen. So I've been using this ROM for the last couple of days and I found a couple of quirks with it. One of those would be it wouldn't sync my exchange contacts, I don't know why, so in the end I had to do that with Google. And also when I leave an application, sometimes the apps on the home screen weren't there and then a couple of seconds later they would pop in. So that's just a couple of things I've found so far. Inside of the menu here you can see we've got the resurrection settings specific to this and there's a couple of uh, different menu items. Now the first one, a resurrection update, is fairly self-explanatory, you can update this ROM. ROM. Now apparently there is a update coming for this. I've been checking over this sort of last day uh, and it hasn't arrived yet. So all you have to do is click on check for ROM update. I'll do that now but nothing will get returned. So hopefully they will release that very soon. So if we just go back to the main resurrection settings, you will see here our ROM control. So in here we can tweak it a little bit further. So we've got sort of general UI, LED options, all that sort of thing. So in here we can do enable uh, volume panel, um, show notification counter. I did try that one, but it was quite hard to see. So I turned that one off. Now, one of the options I did find useful in here was toggle. So in the notification section, you can obviously have toggles. In here you can tweak that. So you can have icon or text only. Uh, so I actually changed that because I prefer just having the text so I know what is actually uh, which icon. So as you can see here, pull that down and you can see the toggles. Now you can actually change that, like I said, so you can get different layouts. Now I'm going to change it to this one and you can see straight away it has changed. So I just love the customization that you can actually do on this and you can actually add uh, more toggles in there as well. So you don't have to stick with the ones that it gives you. So as you see, I've put it back to icons. So what I'm going to do, change that back to text. And if we go into enable toggles here, you can see are the ones you can select. So in this list, we choose, let's choose airplane mode. Uh, close that down and pull this back down again. And as you can see, it's now added it. So it's very, very smooth, very easy to use, which I like. So if we just close this down and we go back a section, you can see the other options. And one of those is clock. So in here, you have different options for the clock. Pretty boring. But in this one, you have battery again. Not the most exciting of menus. But what I do like is I actually changed the battery icon from an icon to a percentage, which I prefer. Because I know how much is left. It's just easier to gauge when I need to charge the actual phone. And also, as well, you can see here, we've got this navigation bar, which gives you more options that you can tweak to your heart's content. So if we come out of here and we go down one more, we've got themes. So again, you can add themes into here. This is the system, the current one, and also device options. So in here, you can change the radio, you can change the screen, and also the haptic feedback. Now in here on screen, like on your TV, you can change it to like a vivid, uh, movie, vibrant, all those different types of modes. You can do a very similar thing on this as well. So again, that's very handy. And then this one, which I have been too scared to tweak and mess about with, is actually you can use this to overclock your device. So as you can see from all these options, we have CPU, GPU, audio, screen, misc. We all have all these different things we can change. Now, I'm going to have to go through some of these and figure out the best settings and get the best performance. Or, well, do I want performance or do I want to conserve battery power? To be honest, I would probably rather get battery power because uh, batteries on smartphones aren't the best. If I can save that bit of power, and make it last longer, that would actually benefit me more. So that's probably what I'm going to do. So as you can see, this is the, sort of the overall quick look at it all. So far, works very well. Looking forward to the update to see if it solves some of those problems. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you found it useful, please give it a like. If you're not subscribed to the channel, click the subscribe button just above. You can also follow me on Twitter at Matt Saunders MCP, and I will catch you all in the next one.